Republican Congressman Matt Gates is with us. He's a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Um, Congressman, f fast moving developments here. What do they tell you? They tell me that there's a glaring hypocrisy that's unfolding and we've got the Department of Justice participating in it. When Hillary Clinton was under investigation for crimes, for destroying classified information, for uh, having um, classified information mishandled, her own lawyers and her own team got to self-curate the documents that they produced. And many of Secretary Clinton's lawyers and key aides even got immunity deals. Here, when the shoe is on the other foot, you've got President Trump's personal lawyer having to ask for the very FBI that's uh, investigating the president to not be the entity that's curating those records. And so we're, we're just in search of an equal standard that can be applied and then defended, not based on politics or who's in the crosshairs. As far as I understand, Congressman, the idea behind today's hearing was to try to quell all the other information that might get out there, risk getting out there, beyond the scope of the Mueller investigation or what prosecutors were looking for. Now it's, you know, gotten to include other clients Michael Cohen had, God knows what else that could be revealed down the road. This does seem to have gone afield from what it was intended to be. Well, it certainly has. And, you know, the fact that Mr. Mueller referred this to the Southern District of New York shows that it has no nexus to foreign interference in the election. It's just stuff that may end up being embarrassing for the president or his lawyer. So this isn't an attempt well, to find Well, forget about embarrassing, facts. though. Is this even more problematic that the president's been so focused on Bob Mueller and what he's getting or not getting that this sideshow or this other avenue of, of attack from, you know, business relationships and what have you, we don't know as Judge Kimber Wood is trying to discern, is an even bigger potential deal. It very well could be. And I'll tell you this, Neil, when I've spoken to the president, it wears on him that as he's trying to do work around the world to promote freedom and inclusion and democracy, that here at home we have these tactics that look more like the second world and the third world than like a justice system in the United States of America. And that does wear on the president. It frustrates him. And it's one of the reasons we see that frustration manifest in his social media. All right. Thank you very, very much, Congressman. With all this breaking news, we'll try to stay on top at all sides.